Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to download the new FL Studio 2024 with making sure you don't overwrite any of your previous settings. So go to ImageLine's website and on their main page, they'll have the whole FL Studio 2024. I have not tried it yet, so I'm excited to test it out. Um, so just go ahead and download it and you should get the installer on your computer. So here it is on my computer here. Uh, I'm making sure FL Studio is not running in the background. I've made sure it's closed. So let's go ahead and run the installer. Next, I agree to the terms and conditions, install for all users. Uh, now you can go ahead and choose what settings you want. Um, make sure that you have settings as unchecked and uncheck the clear, because what this will do is it'll reset all your FL Studio settings, which I doubt you want. Um, then the rest of this is fine. If you don't use ASIO for all, you don't need to install it. I have it installed, I never use it, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Uh, it's next. Uh, go ahead and choose where you want it installed. So let me copy this real quick. So here are all my FL Studio instances. So this is basically going to create a whole new folder. So if you have any project settings in uh, FL Studio 21 or 20 or the beta or whatever, you might have to copy them over. So some of my drum packs are actually stored in those folders. So I'll have to remember to migrate those over. Um, but yeah, this should be fine for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and install that. Um, this is going to ask where all your 64-bit plugins are installed. So on my computer, I've installed them into this folder. So all my VSTs are installed into that. Um, so I can go ahead and leave that. It does remember from the previous install, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we'll leave that. Uh, and this is just kind of confirming it. So we'll install it. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, this may take, uh, you know, 10 minutes. It has to install all these, like, wave files and stuff like that so let's let it do its thing i don't actually know what their fl cloud is i haven't looked into it too much i've never really used it but i'm assuming it's kind of like uh splice where you get the sounds and then you also get plugins and stuff so that's kind of cool so it looks like they're partnering up with like native instruments minimal audio baby audio i use their uh magic switch a lot um and some other plugins so that's kind of neat I guess introducing FL Cloud is where you can get all your plugins from if you don't want to individually buy them all. Um, but I'm sure you can download some of these on the side. Yeah, like Ignition Keys you can download on the side. Super VHS you can download on the side. Um, yeah, so a lot of these are just now, I guess, built into FL Studio Sound or Cloud. But it does look like it is a uh, subscription-based thing, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, but again, that's up to you guys if you like that. All right, if you want to offer a little studio, make sure you log in. That's all good. Next, next, and let's open it. Okay, so unlock FL Studio. Um, click renew if you have updated FL Studio or purchase an upgrade. So I'll go ahead and renew. Okay, so we'll go ahead and log in. This is installed, save and restart. Oh no, don't want to save. Oh sweet, okay, so this is now the interface and that's pretty much it. I'll probably do a video breaking down some of my favorite features in here and some cool things that I find, so stay tuned for that. If you guys find anything cool, let me know in the comments or drop a message in my Discord server actually and I'll uh, respond there. All right, but I'm PJ, I'm out, peace. PJ on the track.